Hey y'all, it's Maddie from the Itty Bitty Homestead Committee and I thought today we could have a brief overview of the different body profiles of rabbits and what you would see at a show. So let's hop right into that. Compact body type animals are lighter in weight and shorter in body length than animals of commercial type. Some breeds will have only a slight rise in the top line due to the depth of the shoulders being slightly lower than the depth over the hips. The side profile may be tapered or of equal width from the hips to shoulders as specified in the individual breed standard. Animals are to be posed with the front feet directly under the eyes and the toes of the rear feet aligned with the front of the hips, posing in excessively tucked positions or allowing animals to move about the table is undesirable and strongly discouraged. To pose your compact type rabbit, place the front feet directly under the eyes. Align the toes of the rear feet with the front of the hips. Compact includes, but is not limited to, American Fuzzy Lop, English Angora, Holland Lop, Dutch Florida White, Lilac, Mini Rex, Mini Satin. High head mount type animals are similar to compact type animals, but they are extremely short and deep at the shoulder, creating a high head mount or high head. The structure of the shoulder governs the head mount. Often these animals also will have a deep chest. Each breed defines the specific height of the head on the body. Animals are to be posed with front feet directly under eyes and the toes of the rear feet aligned with the front of the hips. Posing an excessively tucked position or posing the animal so upright as to resemble a full arched breed rabbit is incorrect and strongly discouraged. It is noted in the standard of perfection that the head shall be massive in appearance and set close and of medium height on the shoulder. Posing for this body type directly correlates with the breed of rabbit and should be reviewed in the standard of perfection. Cylindrical type rabbits are to show a straight top line with no arch or rise. Side profile is to show no taper. The front feet are to be even with the eyes and the body stretched out with four legs and hocks flat on the table. To pose a cylindrical type rabbit, place the front feet directly under the eyes. Align the toes of the rear feet with the front of the hips. Elongate the animal as much as possible, making sure to keep the hocks flat on the table. Slide hands down the body when lifting and stretching the hindquarters. Continue process until the animal is properly posed. The only breed in this category is currently the Himalayan. Semi-arched type rabbits are longer in the body and have a well-defined rise starting at or near the back of the shoulders and continuing to round over the back and hips to the base of the tail. High point of the rise should occur at the top of the hips. The side profile is to be tapered from the hindquarters through to the shoulders. Animals are to be posed with the front feet directly under the eyes and the toes of the rear feet aligned with the front of the hips. Some breeds may be allowed to move naturally after initial pose to better evaluate specific type of features. Breeds in this category include American, Beveren, English Lop, Flemish Giant, and Giant Chinchilla. Full arch type rabbits are to have an arch starting at the nape of the neck and continuing in a smooth unbroken line over the shoulders, loin, hips, and finishing by rounding to the base of the tail. Most breeds will show more depth than the width of the body. The side profile will taper from the hind quarters through to the shoulders. All breeds should be allowed to move naturally to evaluate type except the Britain Petite and the Belgian Hare, which are to be posed for evaluation. Whereas full arched running breeds such as the checkered giant, English spot, and tan should be allowed to move around the table. To pose these animals, you allow the animal to run, step back and watch, view from all angles. Look for full extension length of leg, wide, straight, tracking spinal curve with the body high point over the loin. Body carries well off the ground. Finally, we have the commercial type rabbit, which are of medium length with depth of body equating width of the body throughout. The high point of the top line should be over the hips. The side profile will taper from hindquarters through to the shoulders. Fullness of body and firmness of the flesh are important qualities. Animals are to be posed with front feet directly under the eyes and toes of the rear feet aligning with the front of the hips. Posing in a tucked up or stretched out position is inappropriate. To pose this kind of rabbit, place the front feet directly under the eyes. Align the toes of the rear feet with the front of the hips. Breed types include French Angora, Satin, Creme d'Argent, Champagne d'Argent, American Chinchilla, Rex, Palomino, Silver Fox, and many, many more. So that was all of the body types, just kind of like a brief look at them. Um, 
If y'all want to know more about a certain kind of rabbit or y'all want to know more about a certain body style or how to pose them, leave that in the comments down below. I would love to make another video like this, but thank y'all for watching this far and I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs> Bye.